Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Today's class, I am going to talk about uh, what is the advantages and disadvantages of full custom, semi custom, and FPGA. So previous video we discussed the comparison of full custom and semi custom. So what is the difference between full custom and semi custom? If you need it, kindly refer the video. Now we move on to the session. So first, uh, uh, we know the different type of uh, design styles. So here I'm taking three design styles, full custom, semi custom and FPG. So first we see about the full custom. So the advantages of full custom is compact design. So it's a very compact design. And second advantage is improved electrical characteristics. Then go to drawbacks of uh, full custom. So it's a very time consuming. So this type of method, it consume more time then more error prone so it make many errors so it's a drawback of full custom the advantages of full custom is it's a compact design and improved electrical characteristics then come to drawback so drawback is very time consuming and more error prone so next we see about semi custom so semi custom in the sense uh, it's a pre-designed and pre-tested model. So already the manufacturer pre-designed and pre-tested model. Just the user interact with this model and get the output. So it's a it's called as a semi-custom. So now we see about advantages and disadvantages of semi-custom. So first we see about advantage. The first one is well-tested standard cell can be shared between user so already i told in semi custom in the sense pre-tested and pre-designed model so well tested standard self can be shared between the user and second advantage is good for bottom-up design so this custom design is used for bottom-up design then come to drawback so the first drawback is time consuming to build up standard cell so it will take more time for build up the standard cell then second drawback is it's very expensive so it's a drawback the advantages of semi custom is well tested standard cell can be shared between user and second point good for bottom of design so drawback time consuming to build up standard cell and it's more expensive then come to fpg FPGA in the sense field programmable gate array. The advantages of FPGA is fast implementation. So it's very fast implementation and easy to update. So it's a benefit of uh, FPGA. Then come to drawback. So relatively expensive in large volume. If the circuit size is very huge, so in this case it's relatively expensive. Then second point, wasteful of space and pin connections so it's a drawback in fpga advantages of fast implementation and easy update drawbacks are relatively expensive in large volume and wasteful of space and pin connections i hope you understand uh, this advantages and drawbacks of uh, full custom semi custom and fpga so thanks for watching my channel thank you